Good morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw a pronghorn. Mary Jo Douglas requested a pronghorn and uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, they look about like this. If you're like me, you may need to look these guys up. They're um, pretty cool. Kind of remind me uh, in some parts of a deer, uh, other parts, I don't know. I can't think of words sometimes when I get on here. But anyways, what you need to join in is grab a piece of paper, have a pencil, a marker, or, uh, or a pen, just something you can't erase, and an eraser. And that's all you need. I'm going to move my guide, and we're going to get started. Um, you are going to use your pencil. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see me better. And we are going to build a pronghorn today. Um, we're going to start in the upper portion of our paper with some ovals. Um, this guy gets a little complicated, so if I'm going too fast, pause me, draw your shapes, hit play when you're ready, and I'll be right here, okay? All right, we're going to start with an oval. It's going to be about this big and angled, like kind of tilted over to the left, just ever so slightly. So get your whole arm going from your shoulder in that shape of an oval. And when you've got it nice and lightly, set your pencil down. Now these shapes that we're drawing in the very beginning with our pencil, um, they're nice and loose. They, they aren't perfect shapes. We're not erasing anything. Um, we're kind of just letting this happen as we go. Um, we're not judging ourselves either, okay? In the long run, we'll erase all these shapes, so you don't have to worry about them being perfect. They're just a guide for us. Okay, next up, we're going to add another oval. Now, this oval, this is going to be just slightly larger than that last one we drew, and it's going to kind of live along that same edge there. So go ahead and start just below the oval you drew. Follow along that edge and come around. Make it a little wider on that side. Go around a few times. You're using your whole arm from your shoulder to create these shapes. When you use your larger muscles, um, it's easier to arrive at these shapes. Now you see how mine's not perfect, but if you squint your eyes, um, you'll see it, all those lines together create an oval. Um, yours are not gonna be perfect either. Nobody's is going to be perfect. Off to the left of here, we're gonna draw a nice little triangle. Just gonna kinda come up like this and then over. And then that arc of the oval is gonna create that last line. Down from there, we're gonna add a tiny little triangle. It's just gonna come out and down, super tiny. This is like the tip of our pronghorn's ear. Up here in our, this is gonna be our horn on our pronghorn. We're gonna add another, like the tip of a triangle. We're gonna just slice over from one of those ovals over to the next. Now, if we were to draw that whole triangle, it would be here, but we're just drawing that one angle and letting this line be the rest of it. Okay, now let's draw the other horn. It's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna draw another little oval right here, pretty inside of that horn. So get your whole arm going from your shoulder and draw another oval. Now this one is skinnier, just like that. If you see the way these two ovals overlapped, they sort of build a, um, a heart. All right, same thing like we did on this one. Let's start just below it. Use that edge and then go up above it, down and around, just like that. I can hear the sirens going off, so it must be noon and I said good morning. So good afternoon to you. On the inside, let's add another triangle, just like we did over here. We're gonna add a little triangle here. It's just gonna come out from here and down, just like that. All right. Now we're gonna add in, at the base of these horns, uh, we're gonna add in some diagonal lines. We're gonna end up drawing kind of a, um, a rectangle of sorts. We're gonna do a diagonal line right here that is gonna kind of follow the base of that oval we drew. To get that line, I'm planting my elbow and I'm just moving my whole forearm back and forth and back and forth. Slide your forearm forward without really moving the angle. Do the same thing. 
back and forth and back and forth just like that very very good all right let's do um, a little connecting triangle along that back end right there add a little connecting triangle there and from this horn come up on the horn and then down to the corner there and draw a connecting triangle there all right now we're gonna do from this point down and this point down we're gonna draw a triangle um, if it helps you you can do the line across here um, it's not really a necessary line but if it helps you so plant your wrist this time move your pencil back and forth and draw in a triangle there now if it if your ends don't meet up that's okay just draw one a little longer and then go back and connect that other one all right next up we are gonna do we're looking at uh, kind of the side of our pronghorns face and so this back eye is not going to be visible but we need a little bump there so that we know to th know that it's there so we're gonna draw um, a little circle right here at the tip of that triangle we're gonna have a little circle and it's gonna overlap into that triangle and out of that triangle now from that circle the base of that circle let's draw another line a little diagonal line there we go my marker wasn't working um, over it's going to be parallel to the top of that triangle another line just like that if it helps you you can take your pencil to see these shapes you can go oh is it there or is it there there you go it's right there all right once we get over and we're just kind of below um, this oval for the horn just kind of straight down from there and sitting on the edge of the diagonal line we just created we're going to draw the other eye a circle about that big i am just using my hand for this because it's a little bit smaller shape all right now we are going to draw some shapes around this circle these guys are super simple when you look at them but when you're trying to draw them it's complicated um, so <laughs> this one's complicated, but follow along. I'll try to be as uh, simple as I can. From here, we're gonna draw an oval that's gonna go, it's gonna ride along this diagonal line and kind of down that triangular line and come around like this. So it'll be about this big on your paper. So let's go ahead and draw that oval. Follow along that diagonal line, come down and around just like that. Go over it a few times to get your shape. I'm planting my elbow for this one and I'm kind of just moving my forearm. Um, you could do your whole arm if you wanted to. I just wanted a little bit more control than that. All right, on the end of this oval, we're gonna add in our ear. Now to get our ear, we, it's kind of we've done this shape before. We're gonna do a, a little rectangle at the end of that oval it tilted on its side there little rectangle paint your wrist go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth you'll get your rectangular shape and then off the end of your rectangle we're gonna do an oval about that big and then on the end of your oval triangle see that triangle there those shapes will build our ear. Inside that ear, let's do one little arc. Plant your wrist and let your hand move in the natural motion it's gonna go and get a nice little arc, just like that. I'm gonna peek at my camera because I feel like I moved my paper. All right, we're looking good. Okay, from the back of that oval, we're gonna draw a line kind of straight down, just like this. This is gonna give us a hint of their jaw. So a straight line just like that now on the zebra and the horse that we drew and I feel like there was one other one um, we would draw like a circle right here for their jaws well the pronghorns face is much narrower and their jawline um, is in a bit so we're gonna add an oval for that jawline and it's gonna live right about here uh, the edge of it is gonna come just past that eye oval so we're going to draw an oval, kind of just stacked below that last oval we drew. And it's going to be about this big. 
And on the end of that, we're going to add that little connecting triangle. It's going to help us know where to shade some things when we get to that point. Okay, so now we've got this oval and this oval. They kind of meet up right about here. We're going to add in a rectangular box that's going to be right about here for our pronghorns, uh, the length of its nose. So we're going to add in a rectangular box right about here. Plant your elbow, get your whole forearm moving for this shape. And then we're going to add another, another parallel line. So we had the line up here by the horns, then we had the line here for the eyes. Now we're going to do a line here for the nose. So they're going to end up being kind of parallel. If they're not perfect, that's fine. Um, just the idea of that. So you're going to give yourself a little guide just like that. Take a second, make sure they're kind of lined up, and then we can go from there. All right, where those meet up in the corners, we're just going to draw a straight line down and create a nice little rectangle there. Very good. Over you go. See how mine's not perfect, but you get the gist of it. Okay. All right, inside this rectangle, we are going to draw some ovals. This left oval is going to end up being um, longer and skinnier. So it's going to be about like that. I'm going to make it actually a little bit fatter. About like that. And then the one on the right hand side is going to fill up almost all of that space and extend about over to here. So go ahead and draw in a nice oval. About like that. Inside that box. Now at the tops of either one of those ovals, we're going to add a little mimicking arc. We're going to add one here. And then on this one, we're going to add one here. When we fill in all the color, um, we're going to leave that white. It would be kind of like the highlights we leave in eyes sometimes. Okay, next up, we're going to draw a circle that's going to come in between those two ovals and around, and it'll live about all the way back to where that long oval we just finished. So we're going to draw a nice kind of circular shape there, maybe more of an oval, and it's going to just be about this big. See, I'm going around and around and around to kind of get that placement. At first, I drew it a little too close to this oval, so I just kept going around and scooting it over. Now we're going to do a little connecting line from that circle, connect back to that oval we drew. And from the back of that oval, let's draw a line over to the base of the line we drew down. Just like that. Very good. Okay, let's, um, let's do the neck next. So we're going to do an oval that's going to be about this big for the neck. The reason I'm choosing an oval today instead of straight lines coming down is because they have a pretty strong muscle on this side of their neck that um, arcs. And I think the only way to get that arc is with a nice oval. So get your arm going from your shoulder. Our oval is going to live at the base of that ear right here. So we want to make sure to get that in our oval shape. So I'm going to start there, come around about halfway down that jaw, nice and light, until I get that shape where I want it. Round and around we go. I'm hoping you can see that my marker is kind of skipping on me. Change my angle there. There we go. Can you see that oval? Give me a thumbs up if you can see what I'm doing so I know uh, what you can see and what I need to improve. All right, at the base of that neck, we're going to add in a diagonal line here. It's kind of like you're starting to draw a triangle, but we're not going to finish it because you're not going to need that part. And then just about a little three quarters of the way up, we're going to draw an arc over. So if we were to draw the whole body, which I thought would take too long, um, this would be like the start of the body. So this is the neck coming down into the start of the body. And on the other side, we're going to go ride that oval shape down and just go straight down like that for that side of the body. Now on the neck, just like we did with the zebra, these guys have some really distinct 
uh, fur markers that we're going to uh, fill in here. So we're going to draw, we're going to kind of divide our neck with an arc. Um, it's going to be about three quarters of the way over. So start kind of in the middle of your oval there. Plant your elbow. You, I have my arm way off to the side and I'm going to just move my forearm in the nice arc that it's naturally going to go in. So you're going to do the same. You don't need to draw it up into the face, but up the neck, give yourself that nice guide. Now on either side of the neck, uh, right about here, they've got like a band of white fur and then like a triangle of white fur. So we're going to plant our wrists and draw a little arc there. And just below it, not too far down, another little arc and connect them. Same thing on the other side. Plant your wrist. Now, if I were doing this um, and I wasn't doing it for you, I was just doing it on my own, I would rotate my paper. I'm not going to do that because it's going to get confusing for you. So rotate your paper, plant your wrist, and draw that other arc coming up. Same thing, just below it. Very good. And connect them. You're doing so good. All right, now below that, we're gonna draw another one. It's slightly smaller, but this time, instead of um, making it like a rectangular shape, we're gonna make it more of a triangular shape. So touch that center line, arc up, and then from that corner, arc back. If you plant your wrist and move your hand, it's gonna give you that natural shape of the arc. Same thing here, plant your wrist, out you go, and then from the tip of that, arc back in. All right, now we need to add in some details for our prong of horn. Um, up right about here, they've got another white, uh, I'm guessing it would be a rectangle, but we're just seeing like a triangle of it. So we're gonna draw a little triangle right here, down from the ear over to that jawline that we had. There's our triangle, so we have another white spot there. Now on their eyes, um, in the past we've done eyel eyelids that are like arcs. These guys have a more angular look to their eyes. So this time we're going to draw the starts of a triangle and it's going to break into our eye like that and then down like that. Underneath our eye, let's give one little arc as a detail. And then inside our eye. I really like it when our eyes have more highlights. So let's add more highlights on this guy. We're going to do a little crescent shape highlight here, just like that. And then a little circle, and then a big circle. I think it makes our animals look like really friendly. I think we could all use a friendly face right now, so let's make our animals friendly, even if they're not. <laughs> Above that eye, headed back. So if you were to kind of touch your pencil to the corner of that triangular eyelid to this corner and draw a little diagonal line back, we're going to add in kind of a, uh, I'm going to compare it to our eyebrows, but they have like this darker mark of fur that comes up from their eyes, just like that. And then I see a connecting triangle I forgot. On our horn, where it comes down and we've got this little uh, rectangular shape here, we need a connecting triangle there. All right, let me take a look at our guide. I think I have all the shapes. It felt much more complicated when I was putting it together, so I hope you followed along nice and easy. Um, let's add one thing on this eye over here. Let's add, if we were to come straight out from that diagonal, let's add a few little lines there to let us know where we're going to put our eyelashes. Okay? All right. Switch over from your pencil to your marker. I'm using a Sharpie. You can really use any kind of pen or marker that you would like. And let's uh, let's draw our pronghorn. Um, we're going to start up here where we had all those crazy ovals. We're going to start that first oval that we drew. We're going to start at the tip where we connected it as a triangle and we're going to come down. We're going to go all the way around this shape down to that diagonal line. So go ahead and set your marker down. Try not to sketch, sketch, sketch. Try to just nice and smoothly go over that line. 
just like that. Now let's go back where we had that connecting triangle and we're going to draw around the edge of the oval, that bigger oval we drew, to this triangle and stop. Connect it over and stop. From there we're going to go up the triangle, down the triangle, back onto the oval, onto the connecting triangle. So their horns look like um, they're rounded, but in some areas they are also like a little flat. Very, very interesting animal. I'm uh, looking forward to learning some more about them. So Mary Jo, if you've got some cool pronghorn facts you'd like to text me or send me in the comments below, I would love to, love to see those. Um, okay, let's go back up and do this other one. We're gonna go from this inside oval that we drew here, we're gonna go from this point around and stop at the triangle. So just a little bit there, around that edge, stop at the triangle. Then we're gonna go around the edge of the triangle and then we're gonna go down. Um, we're gonna go down and then kind of hook it up down here. So let's see, around the edge of the triangle, onto that oval, and then we're gonna kind of follow onto that next oval. So we're kind of hopping lines there. Our original oval went like this, but our back oval met up. So we kind of went inside oval onto that other oval there to help us get that shape. Okay, now we're gonna go back up to the tip of that triangle, around that oval, onto that connecting triangle, and stop. Now we're gonna add in this diagonal line that um, goes down into that triangle. We're gonna add in just this part of it here, down that, bleh, down that diagonal line. I was wondering when I was gonna trip up on these directions here. Now, where we had the edge of this oval and the edge of this oval, this one we're just gonna draw right across and connect it over, just like that. Oh, and let's go back in this little triangle here. I almost forgot it. Let's actually fill that in all the way black. That's the tip of their other ear. Now, up front here, they have on the top of their head, this area here is kind of a lighter color. So we're gonna draw along this diagonal line to kind of cut off that horn. And then we're gonna hop back on that oval and connect it over. All right, moving on, we are gonna go around the edge of this oval, down this rectangle. So curve around that oval and then hop on to this rectangle there. I did forget a little shape. Can we switch back to our pencils for one second to make this easier for you? Sorry about that, I knew I was gonna do that. There's lots of shapes in this guy. On this rectangle that we drew for the nose, we're gonna divide that in half. Just like that. And then from that division, we're gonna draw a little connecting triangle. Just like that. All right, now you can switch back to your marker. Sorry, that's gonna come in handy right about now. All right, so we're gonna go up that connecting triangle and then that slice that we just drew, draw across there. Then we're gonna go up a little bit of the rectangle that we originally drew and head back up toward that eye. Very good. Once we get up toward that eye, we're gonna hop on the fattest part of that triangle you drew. So it's going to look about like that. All right, let's go ahead and do this outside eye. We're just going to draw around the edge of that circle and add in a couple of those eyelashes. Now let's go over to this eye and get this guy going. Um, actually, let's go up and do the ear and then we'll kind of just work our way down. Maybe that makes the most sense. We're going to draw a little connecting line here over to the ear. So it's the tip of this eye oval there. And then we're gonna go around the edges of these shapes to get them going. So the edge of the rectangle, connect that up to our oval, 
under our triangle, around the triangle, around the oval, down to the rectangle. Sometimes when I'm speaking and I'm saying all these shapes, I can't think of them fast enough. All right, now on this, we're just gonna trace over that arc that we drew. Paint your wrist and trace over that arc that we drew. All right, now we can do the eye. For this, um, for lack of better words, it's really more of a fur color and maybe a bit of a shadow. We're gonna draw this eyebrow shape here. We're gonna trace right over what we had. And then on that front edge, we're just gonna kinda go back and forth a little bit with our marker. Cause it's not like a real crisp, defined shape along the bottom. Now let's do our eye. We're gonna go over those triangular lines that we drew on the top. That would be our eyelid, just like that. And now we can go around the circle part that is our eye. You pick, when we get to these parts where we've drawn shapes, you pick, decide if you want it to be fat or thin, skinny, tall, um, you decide. All right, now we can go ahead and fill in our eye all black with the exception of the highlights that we drew in there. So those little circles and crescent shapes, trace around those and then fill in the rest nice and black. All right, now let's skip down and do this nose. Let's go down here. This gets uh, a little complicated. Where we drew those ovals, we drew a long one here and kind of a taller one here. We're gonna make sure we leave the, the highlights that we drew, that little mimicking shape. Let's trace over so we know what to leave white and what to fill in with our marker. So we're gonna go that shape and then over here, same thing, and that shape. Now, this whole portion of the nose, minus those little shapes we just outlined, is all dark all the way up, so let's fill that in. There's no right or wrong way to fill this in. Um, if you wanna do nice long motions, if you wanna do short motions, if you wanna go in circles, if you kinda wanna just do it quick, or if you wanna take your time, either way, no right or wrong way to do this here. If you accidentally go outside your line, um, that's okay, figure out a creative solution for that. Say I went outside my line a little bit right here, I would just extend my oval down until it filled in my mistake. I look at those things, uh, rather than calling them mistakes, I like to call them happy accidents because they're the things that are gonna make my drawing uniquely mine. And they're actually gonna be the things that in the long run give our drawing some, um, some character. Okay, so let's hop back onto this horn here. Um, now this little section here remains white. Uh, if you were to look these guys up, it might be more of a tan color here. Let's fill in some of this black or whatever color you're using um, up this horn to give it some definition. Let's start up at the top here. I'm gonna kind of fill in that triangular shape. And then along that bottom edge, I'm just kind of going back and forth and back and forth. And as I come down that arc, I'm making it a little skinnier. See how I did that? You do the same. Then we're gonna hop over on this other edge, come in just a little bit, leave a little bit of white space there for a highlight. Then on this triangle, I'm gonna do that same thing down this edge. Fill in the triangle, back and forth and back and forth on the edge. When I get about here, I'm gonna scooch in a little bit, give a little highlight, and then come back and meet up. I'm gonna come in about here. Now this motion is um, kind of fast and a little messier, for lack of a better word. Then I'm gonna fill all the way over so you can see that definition right there. It's kind of like the sunlight is hitting that horn. Now from here, this connects down and all of this gets filled in dark. So below that arc that we drew to connect those horns, this is all nice and dark. And when I looked at the pronghorns, some of them had this whole section would be like black and others had like a brown going into black. So you might see some variations if you look them up. Um, inside this one, 
fill in that triangle and then go along that edge fill in that triangle and then head it down just like that now let's go back up along that diagonal line and then kind of scooch in and arc it over very good your highlights may look slightly different than mine um, that that's fine it's just to, to give it some dimension rather than filling the whole thing in black that just gives it some some cool dimension now on the tip of this little ear the tip of their ear is completely black so draw in color that in completely black all right we're, now let's move back down onto the face uh, let's go ahead and draw right over that little arc underneath the eye we're going to draw that and then where we had this oval that went all the way around the eye we're going to draw up that oval we're going to draw um, dots one dot every so often headed back to kind of where we've got that connecting triangle there so follow along five six seven eight nine ten eleven if you've drawn with me before i like to draw my dots in uneven numbers um, you may like to do even i like uneven so that's what i'm doing there now where we have that oval up into that connecting triangle if you look these guys up they've got this white spot on their face this part would be brown this part would be white and then uh, they've got this shadow here that would be like kind of where their jaw is like I said their face is kind of narrow so we're gonna draw the edge there just like that and then we're gonna kind of shade it in just a little bit your widest point is gonna be kind of right here headed toward that triangle now let's go back up to the ear and draw down that line and follow this line all the way over to the chin so down we go then follow this line up on that arc the connecting triangle and over now this part is going to be their chin so right where it meets up with that base of that rectangle there we're just going to draw along there to get their chin now for here moving back up to that nose area that got a little complicated we're going to draw down that edge and arc up into that then we're going to draw down that edge and over and if you wanted to you could fill in that little section there black so you kind of just gave them a nice little smile if you wanted to give them a little line there make it look like they're smiling you could do that you don't have to though all right now we're just we've just got the neck left so now we're going to draw down this curved line onto that connecting line so draw down the curve onto the connecting line. Now let's go back up to that curve and do a little hint of that, just like that. Same thing on this side. We're going to go from that chin, follow the curve about like that. Then add in your angled triangle and your little arc. Now for these marks on their neck, we're not going to draw that division there we're just going to actually draw the white shapes now if you look up these guys online and you you decide to color them this part that we're drawing right now this part would be nice and white then you're going to draw over that next section just like that and then we've got that last little one up here draw draw over those triangular lines and you have just drawn a really complicated drawing. You just created a pronghorn. Um, thank you, Mary Jo Douglas, for the suggestion. It was very challenging for me. So I hope I gave good instructions. Um, now we are ready to erase our marker. So I'm gonna switch back to my guide here because I drew this one in pencil as well. You're gonna grab your eraser, make sure I've got it lined up there, and you're just gonna erase your lines. Um, Plant your hand on your paper, go over your drawing, and erase all of the pencil lines that you drew. All those guides are going away. And you're going to be left with a very intricate drawing. We did an intricate drawing today. You should feel really proud of yourselves. This one was, was good. 
If you have something you'd like to learn how to draw, send me that in the comments below and I will add it to my list and we'll get it done. Um, as you go over in your erasing, make sure to move your steadying hand so you don't crinkle your paper. You just worked hard on this drawing. It'd be a bummer to crinkle it up. Send me what you're drawing. I love, love, love to see them. And it also helps me know how to convey things to you better. Because I can see what, what, I'm, what you misunderstood and what you understood. Check that out. This guy's cool. Um, you can also find me, Rebecca Inc., on Facebook, YouTube, and Spoonflower if you're into making masks or fabric. I have fabric designs on there. You can find me online at RebeccaInc.com, I-N-K, because I like to draw with ink. If you send me your drawings, they are on the Interact tab. You can find your drawings there. And you can also find downloadable coloring pages. I've had a lot of people ask me, how can we thank you for doing these? Um, download a coloring page. They cost a dollar that supports me and it gives you something to do. So it's a win-win. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Rebecca Inkabig. Thanks for drawing with me today and I will see you tomorrow. Stay healthy and stay positive. We'll see you soon. Bye.